As I said, starting the age of nine, my rich dad started teaching me to be a rich man by playing the game Monopoly. So in 1994, my wife Kim and I decided, why don't we put onto a game board what my rich dad taught me so people can have fun learning. So this here is the cash flow game. There's actually two game boards. This is the first one. The first thing here you notice, there's two tracks. This is called the fast track, and this is called Zerat Race. And most people are trapped in Zerat Race. So if you follow the advice of go to school and get a safe, secure job and buy a house and have kids, you get stuck inside this rat race and you never get out. So the object of the cash flow game is to increase your financial IQ so you can get out of the rat race to have more passive income so you don't have to work anymore, so your money's working hard for you. Then you get on the fast track. Now, there really does exist a fast track. In 1933, a man named Joseph Kennedy, father of President John Kennedy, head of the, I think it was the SEC, de declared that the fast track was only for rich guys and women. So you had to be a rich person to invest on the fast track. So today, the investments I do are not in the rat race. I don't buy stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. I invest out here. So to invest out here, number one, you have to be rich, and number two, you should be financially educated. The reason so many pro athletes and movie stars lose their money is they have the money, but they don't have the financial education. So they get taken by some of the biggest land sharks on planet Earth who operate out here. So if you're going to be out here, you need two things, money and education. So that's what this game board is designed to do, and it's to assist you to get out of the rat race and onto the fast track. So this is the first game board of the cash flow game, and now we'll go on to the second game board. And this, you may recognize, is a financial statement. This financial statement is what separates uh, cash flow from the game of Monopoly. This financial statement here, and don't get intimidated by it, but it's a very important aspect of your financial education. For example, is my banker has never asked me for my report card. My banker has never asked me you know, if I had good grades, what school I went to. When I go to borrow money, millions of dollars, my banker wants to see my financial statement. So in the real world, outside of school, this is your report card. Your financial statement tells the banker how smart you are or do you need remedial education, you know? So cash flow, the game was designed to make this, which is technically, technically known as accounting, the single most boring subject on earth, fun. So cash flow teaches you two things. It takes the most boring subject on earth, which is accounting, married with the most terrifying subject on earth, which is investing, and we put it together in a game. So this here is a very important aspect of the cash flow game. It's what separates monopoly from cash flow. So let's go back to the cash flow game, and I'll explain how putting both accounting and investing together is a very uh, important educational tool for your financial education. So now you've seen the second board game, which is a financial statement, and that part you know, can, can be intimidating to some people, especially if you're not good with numbers or words or just getting new. So let me explain to you why games are so important. As a child, I didn't do well in school. You know, every time I made a mistake, the teacher would punish me, punish me. I, didn't, I don't have a good memory. I was probably ADD, you know, it's hyperfidgety and all this stuff. So the reason I love games and the reason I created the cash flow game is whether you did well in school or not, the more you play this game, the smarter you get. And the problem with my poor dad was he thought making mistakes was bad. Look, the only place that's bad is in school. In the real world, the person who makes the most mistakes and learns from it wins. So the reason I created the cash flow board game to get you out of the rat race is you can play this game over and over and over. I want you to make as many mistakes as you can. We have cash flow clubs and cash flow franchises. You can play this game for free or for a very nominal cost. But I hear so many people say, well, I played the game once. I said, well, how do you learn anything once? You don't learn to be a great golfer putting, you know, playing once. You don't learn to drive just driving once. True education is about repetitive, making mistakes, trying new things, and learning. So the beauty of the cash flow game is have fun. Make as many mistakes as you can. Play it as often as you, as often as you can. Take risks. It's only playing money. You know, have a good time. And the cash flow clubs have a 10-lesson curriculum. Go through the 10 lessons. You know, join with like-minded people, but have fun. Make mistakes. 
The reason my poor dad was poor was because he was terrified of making a mistake. And I don't want you to make mistakes financially in the real world. I don't want you to pay somebody to lose mon your money. Play this game as many times as you take until you get comfortable that you understand how to get out of that rat race on the fast rate, how assets, how liabilities work. But have fun, practice, make as many mistakes as possible, and that's how you get financially smarter. This stuff about school, having a good memory and just listening to lectures, is not true learning. To me, that was torture in school. So the reason I love the cash flow game, the reason my wife and I created it in 1994, is we wanted you to have fun, play as many, many, many times as you can, teach other people. The more you teach other people, the more you learn. So that's the way it is. So even if you didn't do well in school like me, it doesn't mean you can't get rich. You do have a high financial intelligence, but it's up to you to bring that intelligence out, and that's what the game was designed to do. Make mistakes, have fun, get rich. And that's the difference with the Rich Dad Company.